Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm coming on today to share with you some mail that I've received in the post. And um, I did a swap with Marta Hedgeman. I don't think she has a YouTube channel as such, but she is very active on um, Shiny Silver Treasures Facebook group and she supports quite a lot of our our channels and um, when I was showing my pocket letters the other day she said that she had only ever made three and so I thought well maybe she'd like to do a swap so I asked her and she said yes and so we agreed to swap and the package has arrived today now we agreed that we were going to just do a pocket letter swap and and she said could she send me some of her handmade embellishments. I said yes, but was not expecting such a big parcel. Um, I have partly opened it, but not completely, so I haven't actually seen the pocket letter, but I've seen the rest of the things. So first of all, there's this card, and she's put this lovely butterfly on the front, and um, it's such a lovely idea. So she's inked around the butterfly with pink ink and and this one as well and then she's highlighted some of the um some of the uh marks on the body as well so it's a very pretty butterfly you see so and this is the card isn't this spectacular so it says thank you she's put some twine here behind the um the flowers flowers are beautiful um, she's put one of these ribbons that she's made herself um, and this lovely butterfly here has got three layers that's such a cool cool idea the thank you is in um, glittered um, glittered card and then she's put some nouveau drops around it's very very pretty rounded all the edges inked it up in pink it's so delicate and so beautiful and she says, Dear Christine, thank you so much for swapping with me. I hope you like everything I sent you. Sorry there isn't much of this, but the stores in my area have some sort of delivery problem. Crafty hugs, lots of love, Marta. Marta, what you have sent me is more than plenty. Um, it was, it's been very generous of you, and you don't need to think that when you do swaps with people that you need to be sending them loads and loads of stuff. Um, it's just a joy to receive something made by somebody else and um, you know swapping isn't isn't um, isn't to gain loads of stuff in our stash but it's just to to exchange our our, um, our skills really so the first thing out of the bag is this lovely paper bag which she's made herself and she's stamped all around the bottom and um, it, it's just full of lovely lovely bows look at those and there's still more inside so um so look at those wonderful wonderful bows so i'll be um i promised marta that i would i would show her you know i'd come on and show her what i was making with the things that she sent so um and i'm going to be having a few days away soon so i'll be taking the all of these things with me to see what i can create um, so thank you very much, Marta, for those beautiful colours, beautiful bows. It's made in that um, the sort of ribbon that you get for wrapping parcels with at Christmas. You know the the curl and I think I think that's what it's made from. And some of some and I think they they're all like double bows and the narrow the narrow ribbon. So they're so beautiful. You know if you have a special. Um, machine for making these Marta or whether you whether you do them just by hand so those are the bows um, and then next in the bag is is this so these are two beautiful rosettes that she's made and she's she's backed them onto what looks to me to be wallpaper so let's have a look so yeah, so this is kind of like a flocked wallpaper, which I can use as well. It's beautiful. And then she's made these two beautiful rosettes. So this one in this pink with a lovely edging. And then she's laid up some um, eyelash trim, a little doily, a flower, some leaves and 
um, one of her pink bows. And on this one, uh, a similar underneath, but um, this fl another flower. And do you make these flowers, Marta? They, they are absolutely gorgeous if you do. And um, and then another butterfly. So so those those two. And then she sent me a whole bag of crepe paper rosettes. I, I'm not going to get them out. You can see it's a whole bag. So there's pink ones, blue ones, and red ones. And uh, just look like you just pleat it round. I mean, I've never made this sort of rosette, but there's loads there. You really have been very generous, Martha. And then all of these gorgeous rosettes so I can make my own uh, <laughs> embellishments with, with things that I've got. So it's just gorgeous. And uh, I love how you've, you've got the edging around. Um, beautiful. So, so those are the rosettes and, and that. Let's see what else we've got in the box. So she's also sent me um, four of her handmade butterflies. I don't know, do they show up on the wallpaper? I don't want to get everything out because I haven't got much space here to, to show everything. And then another little package, which is... Um, Everything's been beautifully packaged up. So again, a bit more of this flocked wallpaper. This is a really good idea. I've got some wallpaper that I could I could use to uh, to back my embellishments. I never thought of that. So these are little frames, and again, she's she's layered them up. So these would make nice shaker frames. Actually, actually, this one says Mum on the back, and they both do. But that doesn't matter because they're not they've been decorated on the front with the flowers and things. I think they would make really nice shakers, wouldn't they? So um that's one of my pendings is to make shaker cards, so watch this space with those. And then I'm leaving the pocket letter to last, but this bag goes on and on. And there's this package which is wrapped up in beautiful pink tissue paper. Sorry for the rustling. And look what she's put inside. So there's these um, handbag embellishments. In the handbags, yes, yes. Um, which are really cute. And then to go with them, there's these lovely hats and, and more handbags. So I think these would be really lovely with those origami dresses. So I might give those a try. And uh, yeah, they'd look smashing, wouldn't they? And look at these beautiful flowers, absolutely gorgeous, amazing, really, really lovely. And not only that, but it goes on, she's, um, she's gifted me some 6 by 6 cards and envelopes, and uh, quite a lot. 10, in fact, that's, that's really generous of you, um, Martha. And um, this is actually my preferred size of card, so I'm really happy to get those. And then finally in this little pink package is this gorgeous paper pad. This is um, Craft Sensations and it's called Vintage Grunge. And vintage isn't something that, um, that I'm used to very much, but I'm beginning to get into it. So I'm really happy to have this. I look at these, they're beautiful. And then, you know, when people do vintage challenges and things, I've got some material to work with. So I'm very pleased with this. They're gorgeous. So the, the same patterns, but in different colors. And then the, there's a, um, a floral one at the beginning, two couple of floral ones. So thank you so much, Marta, for those. And now I'm going to have to clear a space because I've got the pocket letter to show you. And, and as I say, I haven't seen the pocket letter. I, um, I did manage to restrain myself to um, so that, you know, I'd have some element of surprise in this video. So here we go. Here is the pocket letter. Beautifully tied up with this multicoloured, um, well, not multicolored, several strands of baker's twine. So there's pink, blue, green, and red. Doesn't that make it very effective? So let's just undo this. 
so I'll definitely be keeping this to use on something else. And the tissue paper, of course, is beautiful. So, da, 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 da. Let's have a look. Oops, something has come off. A little flower here that's come off. So, um, oh my goodness me, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, first of all, she's attached this um, big, big bow, which is made up of two layers. So, there's a layer of glitter card underneath, and then this white on top with the cutouts. Um, well, maybe it's two layers with the glitter card in between. And then all these gorgeous ribbons hanging from it. Isn't that a lovely idea? And then down the side, we've got this pink, um, pink washi tape. And, um, and some little little bits and pieces have fallen off as well. Some little like little gems or nova drops. So let's see. So so the paper is basically pink, but I think she's yeah she's done some stenciling with this pink all around on the paper, and then she's added these gorgeous little flowers so on this side here you can see beautiful pink and cream flowers and then this green flourish and then this one's got a butterfly and then this has got a flower and just for you the next lot it's got a butterfly and another flower lovely butterfly here um and even these flowers are i thought they were part of the paper but these flowers are um are stuck on as well beautiful and another butterfly and then in the final one um there's another flourish here with the flowers so i think my flower probably came off here somewhere but that doesn't matter i can stick it back so and again flowers and butterflies so it's just beautiful martha thank you so much so now i'm going to look in the back so Let's have a look on the back she most of them have got lovely little envelopes but there are two pockets which have got lace and ribbon in so um so let's have a look in the first envelope so in this envelope oh my goodness me so she's given me some little tassels and these are made they look as though they're made in with cotton some of them are thicker than others the green ones are very fine and then they the others are a little bit thicker, but they are very use, very pretty. So I'm not going to put everything back um, in the in the pocket letter, otherwise I'll be here all day. So and then this envelope, oh, some jemmies. So we've got red, blue, and pink gems. Who likes a bit of bling? We all like bling, don't we? And then in this one. Oh, she's gifted me some wooden elements. How lovely. So there's some pegs. It's a lovely bicycle. A unicorn. Three, three um, things which say love. And then four wooden pegs. So, oh no, there's more. And a wooden crown. So they will come in very handy. And so let's have a look at the lace. So there's three, three pieces of lace here. So this beautiful pink. Um, she's she's sellotaped it up so it doesn't come undone. But let's see if we can, um, see if we can get it. There we are. So this is um, so it's a it's a bit stretchy. And it's, so it's so pretty. Lovely, I love it. Um, um, then this one, you see it to its full effect, don't we? It is it's also a bit stretchy. It's beautiful. Can you see that? It's absolutely lovely, and she's given me loads. So that one, and then this one, which it's a sort of peachy colour. 
again a bit stretchy Let's see which is the right way around i think this is the right way around beautiful you see that so let's carry on i love pocket letters because they're always so full of little surprises so in here she's gifted me some tags made in in this similar way to the actual um cards of the pocket letter so they're decorated up in the same way with the same ephemera and the flowers and lace um, and um, uh, butterflies and flowers. Let's see. So thank you for those. And I'm loving these, these envelopes which look so vintagey. Right, so here we have the ribbon. So she's gifted me some pink eyelash trim, which is beautiful. I love this colour. To say pink is one of my favourite colours for to craft with. So you did very well there, Martha. Then there's, there's this white ribbon, good uh, selection uh, amount of that, and then some lovely pink organza. So we're nearly there. Let's go to the next one. Oh my goodness! She sent me some some gem some gem some oh, what are these things called? Um, what are they called? <laughs> well, these things, these metal items. So there's a key. There's this um, uh, disc which says love. There's a dragonfly, a butterfly. Oh, and I think this might be the key for the, the lock for the key. And then there's another key here. And this beautiful thing, uh, one which says love. I really cannot think of the word that these are, what these are called. I'll come off the, the video and I'll remember them. But for the moment, I can't remember. But you all know what I mean. So you're all probably shouting whatever it is. <laughs> Oh, goodness me, she sent me some more handmade things. So these are some pegs that she's made. And uh, they're beautifully layered up, very delicate, very, um, you know, everything might minuscule. Even her little handmade bows, look at that, how tiny it is. Um, just so beautiful. And this one says love, and this one says sweet. And finally, this one, this one feels so more embellishments look at those beautiful ribbon roses in lovely colors martha i should say martha i think uh, this is beautiful 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 you have been so so generous and you know really really lovely and you make such beautiful things that really you know you must come onto youtube and uh, well maybe you are already on youtube but i i couldn't see any videos made by you uh, i think you are already subscribed so the next step is to make some videos of of your beautiful things they are just gorgeous and show us how you do these things um you know your butterflies and um and you know just everything it's, it's just just so lovely so thank you all for watching and um, if you don't know Ma Marta, I will leave her name in the description box below. Uh, you can go over, uh, and if I can find the link to her channel, I will, I will um, leave it. Um, and even though she doesn't have an active channel and isn't putting up videos, we can still subscribe to her. So when she has the um, courage to make her first video, she'll already have a few subscribers. And I think... That's so lovely. That's what happened to me. And I kept thinking, why are people, why are people subscribing to me when I haven't got any videos, you know? And, and in fact, it was that, amongst other things, that encouraged me to make my first video. Um, because, you know, you're, you've got a head start in a way. You're not starting off blind without anybody knowing about you. And uh, I think that it would be such a lovely thing to do, to, to go and show her some support. So... Thank you all for, for watching. Thank you again, Martha, for all these beautiful things. And I'll catch you all again in my next video. Bye for now.